Hi, I'm Ann, Ann Whitman, and my honor tonight is to talk about Advent and what it means. Advent itself means coming. Jesus is coming in this case. There are many Advents, lots of different Advents through our lives, but the most important one of all happens, reoccurs every year when we remember the coming of Jesus, now 2020 years ago. And so that's what I want you to think about when we read the verse tonight and when I talk about what was special to me you know, when I was a child during at late, the late days of Advent, such as today. So now I'm going to open this door, which is number 23 in December and look at all the empty boxes there. We've had many days. This is the 23rd day. Ooh, I see a treat. Two <laughs> treats. Chocolate. But most importantly, this little scroll. And we're going to keep those. <laughs> Put that right there for now. And we're going to see what is written on this piece of paper. If I hold the paper away from me a little bit, because I have new eyes, and they don't see as well as my old eyes when it comes to me, <laughs> but they're good. This is from Matthew 2, verses 19 through 23. <clears throat> After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up. Take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel, for those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Arch I'm sorry, Arch how do I pronounce Archelaus was reigning in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets, that he would be called a Nazarene. And so ends the reading of the scripture. That is beautiful. I'm sorry I mangled one word. <laughs> Getting now to the aspect of... Uh, a tradition in our family. I'm talking now about my family when I was a young girl, growing up in a little town in Hinesburg, Vermont. I, we lived in the country. We never had lived in the town except for later on when I was married. But uh, at this point, <clears throat> my brother and myself lived with mom and dad in a house that my dad built all by himself, a beautiful Cape Cod home that he designed and built in his spare time. So, getting any time off was really rare for Dad. And every year though, like when we were, Jeff was five years younger than I am, but when, when it was near Christmas, maybe five days before Christmas, Dad would get us together and get in the old car and we would go up to a nearby farm, the Tracy farm, and we would go looking for a Christmas tree. Of course, Dad knocked on the door every year and said, hi, here we are, is it okay? Still okay that we go pick out a tree? Oh yes, oh sure, go right ahead. So we would come trudge up the hill. This is Vermont, very hilly. Quite an effort to get through the snow and everything, but we would go and look for a tree. And having made up our minds, oh, this one is pretty good. They were never very good. <laughs> <laughs> Scraggly things. But we, Dad would cut it down. We'd bring it down. He'd put it up on the roof of the car, tie it on with a piece of rope, and home we'd go. And it would go in the house, in the basement, to dry off in a, and be stuck in a pail of water to have water to keep it fresh. But what I'm getting at, what the tradition was after the getting of the tree, was that we only could have, this was the rule, the house rule, 
only you could have that, that tree in the house for three days. And then it had to go because it would be a fire hazard in my mother's eyes. You could not have it more than three days. That's it. So it would come in on the 23rd and we would have a grand time getting out all the old ornaments, even bubble lights. And we would decorate the tree on the 23rd. On the 24th, Christmas Eve, we'd have our gifts under the tree and open gifts. And on the then Christmas Day would come and Santa would come possibly. And we'd have maybe one more gift, a big meal, and still admire the tree and the lights. Come the next morning though, bye bye tree. <laughs> <laughs> Away it went. And that was like that every year. And every year I protested loudly. Oh, please. You know, just one more day. Could we please? No. So that's okay. Um, I don't have that. I haven't carried on that tradition in our house. <laughs> We're a little more trusting. But anyway, that was, that's what I do remember. But it was a lovely time in our, in our life my, for my brother and me. To have our dad with us and go out together and get the tree. Thank you. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>